This is breaking news. Bill Maher rips how media covered student Gaza protests. They blew the whole thing way out of proportion video. Bill Maher hasn't exactly been in alignment with the protests against Israel's conduct in Gaza during the war against Hamas, but on Friday's episode of Real Time, Maher took the side of the protesters after a fashion by laying into how the media has covered those protests and declaring they blew the whole thing way out of proportion. Because as always with media these days, Maher said during the new rules segment at the end of the episode, they don't cover what's most important, just what's most fun to watch. There are 15.2 million college students in the U.S. and 2,300 have been arrested. That's 167 of 1%, and half of the ones in New York weren't even students. However, Meher said, we were given the false impression that these protesters are the voice of their generation, having found a cause for which they were willing to go to the tents and to the barricades. Oh please, these kids are more violent when their team wins a championship. At this, he displayed a photo of a sports-related riot that really was vastly more violent than anything exhibited by protesters, though not by police or people who have attacked the protesters unprovoked. Mayer cited a recent Harvard youth poll that showed the issue of Gaza is one of the less important issues among young voters. The vast majority just want to do what they went to college for in the first place, to experiment with being a lesbian. Mayer then poked fun at a frequent slogan about the protests, the whole world is watching, but not because of the slogan, only because you assholes with the cameras won't show anything else. Isn't there a bear in a swimming pool you have somewhere you should be covering? So I thought as a public service, since it's so hard to find reliable news these days tonight, I would provide a few rules of thumb for trying to follow the news in our modern age, starting with if the headlines in your preferred news outlet routinely feature words like treads, destroys, pummels, bashes, your outlet is a partisan piece of. Either that or you're reading a Batman comic, Mayer said. Ditto with obliterates, roasts, annihilates, and owns, Mayer said. Arguing news is supposed to be a source for information, not Nikki Glaser at the Tom Brady roast. Mayer continued along these lines for a while, eventually arguing that every problem in the world isn't caused by the president. When that train derailed in East Palestine, it wasn't because Trump deregulated the brakes and the container ship didn't hit the bridge because of Biden's woke DEI agenda. These aren't news stories, they're storylines pumped into your bubble. Once the news became a profit division of media companies, they stopped being in the news business and are now in the audience stroking business, Mayer continued. The goal is no longer to inform opinions, it's to reinforce them. The HBO host pointed out that narrative first is the way Fox News does things, then dinged NPR because they stopped bashing the rich long enough only to beg for money. Jamaica is a paradise and Nebraska is a no-go zone. News Nation reported this year that the U.S. was on track for nearly a 300% increase in measles cases. 300% wow, that sounds like it could be millions. It was 35 because they just want to manipulate you into clicking. You have to care about the truth. The media doesn't care about it because they know you don't care, but you just want to hear your side. So at some point, you need to take a step back, look around, and be really honest. Are you actually as F, Ed, as your newsfeed tells you? You are. Are you miserable? Some people are and we should help them, Mayer said later. Are you destitute? Some people are, we should help them. But most people who talk this way get to work alive. Most don't fall out of a plane with a missing door, Mayer said. Noting that people often tell them they're worried about Trump winning, Major said. Trump could absolutely blow up the world on day one of term two. He's a dangerous, erratic, insane, awful person, and I'd love to help him get not elected. But he didn't actually start World War III last time. Sure, the sequel is usually worse, but until he does, I'm gonna live my life and not the one the media wants me to live. Hating half the country and ting my pants 24 sevenths. Is the sky really falling? I don't know. Maybe. And maybe it's just the door from a Boeing airplane.